Yeah, welcome back to DXB today, where we're addressing uh, the growing needs uh, of parents, babies, children alike. Uh, and by that, to that end, inviting into the studio lots of very special guests, including our next guest, co-founder uh, of Dubai's first early parenting event, offering expert advice and resources to families to help them navigate the interesting journey of parenthood. Please welcome to the show, uh, Nick Blair. Nick. Really good to have you on board. Thanks, James. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. Nice to have you. Nice to see you again as well. And um, many will know that you know you are well versed in hosting events, albeit previously the couple, the couple of the bigger events that you did uh, might have been with bigger uh, kids as well. You did the Dubai Muscle Show for yep. many many years. You've yep. been very active in the fitness landscape as well. Uh, easy transition from big muscles to little to babies. Yeah, I guess um, yeah, it's a very different event, and it's sort of coincided with the journey in my life. I've just had a baby who's seven months old, Harry, um, and that's sort of how the idea for the event came about. That I was sort of looking around, panicking for you know which hospital do we have the baby? Where do we get the latest strollers? What do we need to get? And there's so much information out there, and we were googling and getting taken to random blog sites and kind of believing everything you read online. And as an event organiser, that sort of got me thinking, there must be a, a baby expo in the Middle East somewhere. Yeah. And I, there wasn't, and I was like, wow, we're, we're onto something <coughs> here. And the response we've had from the brands, um, from the attendees has been amazing. Yeah. Um, we, we've sold a lot of tickets and um, yeah, it, it's cool to also sort of help and feel like you're making a difference as well with, the, there's so many things that parents go through um, both before the birth, during and after yeah. that are, are quite traumatic and uh, there's lots of educational sessions we're delivering to sort of talk about that as well. Yeah, especially when people, so many people here are away from their families as well, aren't yeah. they? So yeah. that community is key. Yeah, exactly. Like m Most people, like you say, are expats here and um, uh, they sort of rely on like hand-me-downs for yeah. like the, the, the strollers and all the clothes. but. Here, people like to spend a bit more. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we actually just did some research um, with a, a research agency, and 19% of parents spend over 110,000 dirhams what? in the first year of their wow. baby's life in the wow. UAE. Yes, yeah, about right. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'd like to know a little bit more about the event because it's taking place this weekend. What can we expect? Yeah, sure. So it's taking place 24th and 25th of May, so Friday, Saturday. Um, as I said, we've got lots of educational seminars from experts like King's College Hospital um, delivering stuff like antenatal classes, um, baby first aid, stuff that you might have to pay a lot of money to do uh, elsewhere. We're sort of making this all free and available on site at the event. And then you've got 150 different brands from strollers to pacifiers to um, kind of nurseries, all the full scope that you'd need from before birth, uh, after birth, and then up to kind of three, four years old. Were you not surprised that there wasn't a baby expo in Dubai? Because Dubai has everything, mm. right? And when you approached me like almost a year ago yeah. to talk about the baby expo, I was also surprised that, oh yeah, I didn't realize there isn't a baby expo. Yeah. That were you surprised and were you pleased at the same time that you were going to do it? <laughs> yeah, definitely pleased. It's always nice to, I mean, Dubai is such a saturated market for yeah. the exhibitions industry. If you think of any sort of sector, whether it's, you know, tables and, and chairs, there's, there's an exhibition for that. Food. But, uh, food, yeah, healthcare, everything's pretty much covered. But babies, there's always going to be babies, right? Yeah. And uh, it's, it's such an important thing in a parent's life to make sure they've got the best for their children. So yeah, really happy of course that there, of course. there wasn't one and we've been really pleased with the response from the local and the international brands as well. I love the fact that you've gone, you know, you've gone so Dubai on this one as well, because it's not just a show, is it? It's an expo, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. I think people expect the best in Dubai, don't they? I yeah, mean, you've got to deliver. Yeah, yeah right. people tra are already travelling from all over the GCC just to come and um, we have to deliver something special. Large. That's so why we got Joel on board. What would yeah. the, we get? So, so, so saying that, so you do have, it's not just uh, local brands, you have international brands as well that are coming in. Yeah, so we've obviously got the business side of it as well. Um, Dubai is very much a hub for business, as you guys know, and um, people like to meet all their partners, distributors and retailers at our events. So um, kind of over two days, you can meet partners from you know five or six different GCC countries. Um, invite the retailers along so we do have the business element as well and it's not just 
the, 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 the exhibitors, you've also put together a great sort of platform for mumpreneurs, for influencers to come together as well. So it's a great place for advice. Yeah, so we've got multiple stages. We've, one of the stages is the, the mumpreneur yeah. forum, which I was saying to Joel earlier, that uh, it's amazing some of these mums, what they do, juggling yeah. two or three businesses. Joel's got about 10. <laughs> um, and also being a mum as well, it's um, really inspirational. And we wanted to show new mums that it is possible. You yeah. can run a business and look after your babies mm -hmm. as well. Joel, can you tell us a little bit about your involvement with Baby Expo? Yeah, so we are a platinum sponsor with Dabdu. We're going to have a, hopefully one of the best stands. <laughs> yeah. um, and we have our team uh, on hand to just talk about the product, introduce the product to, our, to new clients and existing clients, to also meet a lot of the mumpreneurs and to meet a lot of the bloggers and influencers that will be coming to visit the Baby Expo um, and to expand the brand. So it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity for mums to discover new brands and it's an amazing opportunity for brands to showcase their brands and also even to go beyond that to meet distributors. So it's, a, it's an amazing place and like you said, he didn't just do a baby show, he went for the oh, full yeah, thing you know, from day one, Baby Expo. And I remember meeting Nick back a year ago and he was telling me about the idea. I was like, Nick, do you know how big this is going to be? Because like I've been excited to be a mom since I was like a teenager. And I know what, how moms and dads are so excited when they're having the first child, the second child. And <coughs> I knew this baby expo was going to be amazing. And like now we spoke again and he's like, Joel, it was much bigger and better than I even expected, oh, which is amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Nick, for coming here and telling us all about Baby Expo. Unfortunately, we've missed our mark, but, you know, hopefully we can recommend it to our friends. No, no. Well, but that was the thing Joel was we were talking earlier. I think it's a great thing for for uh, for friends who uh, know people that are going to have yeah. babies as well. You can go down there, you can buy gifts and that yeah. sort of stuff as well. So. It's good. I'll, I'll be down there, mate. Yeah, something for all the family as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, even the talks are amazing because even if you are a, a mother who was there for your child and didn't want to uh, whether have a job or enter into your own business, it's an opportunity to meet actually all those mompreneurs on stage and listen to their talks. You could be inspired to then you think, OK, I did my part as a mom. Now my children are teenagers. They don't need me as much anymore. Let me try to venture and start my own business. Mm. So it's a great Great place and a great Speaking platform. of venturing, Lane, I believe we have our DXB in 60 quiz for Joel. We do because obviously Joel has do? got so ah! much, so much to give, so much to talk about, so much to learn. So uh, we, we've got a, a thing we have here called DXB in 60. So we've got okay. 60 seconds and we oh, pressure. give you like bullet rounds of questions. So we want to get as much from you pressure. as possible. So um, this is it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So are you oh, ready? Gosh. Yes. After three, two, one, go. go. Now, if you was not a mumpreneur, what would you be doing? Well, oh, I'd love to be like a babysitter or a nursery nurse, mm. just being around children and babies, especially babies. I like that. Cool. Yeah. What was your first job? Uh, I was selling baby shoes, actually, at Russell and Bromley when I was 15 years old. And I learned how to take the measurements, the width and the length and yeah, the advice on what suits each baby right. depending on how they walk and everything. Yeah. A great shop, wasn't it? In the UK. Yeah. I love that. Uh, your motto in life and work? Uh, I don't believe in luck. I believe in hard work. I believe in dedication. I also believe in wanting success and not being after money because money comes at the end. Indeed. Now, apart from Daniel, your favorite baby product you swear by? <laughs> oh, the boob, of course. <laughs> of course, it's affordable, it's, it's clean, and it's made in UAE. What more do we want? Cool. Uh, your go-to kid-friendly place in Dubai? Um, my, my son loves Lego. So, and I feel it's very safe, and I can just leave him there, and sometimes he spends three hours, and that's his favorite place. Nice. Uh, so many more questions, but just one last one. Yeah. Why Dubai? Oh my God, I came to Dubai on holiday 20 years ago, 2004, and I've never left. Uh, so it's amazing. It's a place where it allowed me and other people to grow. Um, it gives us hope. It lets us uh, dream big, like, you know, like how this country is built. It's all about happiness, dreaming big and believing in yourself and believing in everybody else around you. And also that sense of unity. Yeah. We have a sense of unity in Dubai, which is amazing. 
amazing. Thank you so much, Joelle. Joelle, we can't thank you enough for being thank our guest co-host today. It's been an absolute oh, pleasure you. and privilege to have you with thank us here. You. So thank you so much thank indeed. So All the best much. with uh, Baby Expo in the next couple of days. And of course, Nick, thanks very much indeed for thanks jumping in. On, yeah. uh, good luck with the show and everything like that. Yeah, Get really the good. old earplugs in and everything, all right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. We ain't done just yet, though. We've got uh, an extraordinary live performance still to look forward to. Ella is warming up in the wings as we speak. We'll have that straight after this.